Hey guys, it's Colin. Wow, look at that ride. I'm not a car guy. I mean, you probably know that if you watch this channel, I have an 18-year-old truck. I'd rather uh, put my money in this thing. But damn, that is a sweet Camaro. What do those go for? Probably around, what, 60, 70 grand, if I'm not mistaken. I stopped over here for some gas. Middle of a great ride today. This guy's like gingerly reversing this thing in taking his sweet time backing that thing in he's proud of it nothing wrong with that at all looks like schools are getting out around here all right today i'm going to talk about something i joined and i'm going to share with you isn't it the best feeling when you get a full tank of gas even if it is from mr fast stop gas back there i feel like i can just go ride and ride and ride all right i made this light yes i did Beautiful day for a ride, everybody, but I want to talk to you about something I joined recently. And a lot of people have kind of different opinions about this stuff. Uh, some people have great, had great experiences and some people have not. But I actually joined my local hog chapter and I did the whole national thing too. And you know, when you first buy your bike, so when I bought this in 17, I believe they give you, what, a year free or something from the hog Remember, I never did anything with it. I mean, I got the free magazine, which I think now is digital. They got rid of those magazines. Now you got to go online to read them. Technology, baby. But I never took advantage of it. And, you know, throughout the years, I've heard people say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm in a hog chapter. And other people said, no, nah, they suck. They're not any good. But I, I kind of want to delve into it a little bit. And the reason, probably my biggest reason is... You know, while I ride solo like 90% of the time, and then I've got my wife that rides with me, I don't traditionally have a lot of friends by me that ride. I have like one or two, but normally uh, most of my friends don't ride, ironically enough. But they, um, and so I don't get a chance to go out on like many group rides, unless they're long distance one, unless I'm meeting like good friends and I'm doing like destination riding where I'm gonna meet up with some folks. But just to grab and like four or five riders say, hey, let's just go out and ride today. I don't really have that out here where I live. Not that I'm a loser and I don't have friends. I just don't have, uh, hold your comments to yourself right there. I just don't have, what the hell is this guy doing? All right, hold on. Got to pay attention. So saying that, I went into this thinking, hey, you know what? Let's see if I can go into this joining this hog chapter to see if I could do some rides, meet some cool like-minded people. And that was my whole motive behind it. And I've heard horror stories about like there's some hog chapters. Well, I guess how it works is you have to buy the national one, right? And I think that's, uh, if I remember, what was that 50 bucks? And then you have to buy the chapter membership, you know, it's annual. I think it's, I think I paid either 20 or $25 for the one at All American. So you're looking at 70, 75 bucks a year. And you've got to kind of, from a cost analysis, a return on your investment, I wouldn't call it an investment. I would just say that, uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it to do, uh, pay that kind of money just to go out and ride with people? And honestly, I looked at it this way. I'm going to try it for a year. And if it works out, great. If, you know, if I, and then I'll enjoy it and I'll keep signing up. If it doesn't, then I just won't renew it, right? But when I went into this, you know, I heard, I heard horror stories about there's like drama in a lot of these places and it's just, everyone's got their own rules, everybody's different, you know, the benefits suck and is it just not worth it? You know, and I looked at it as I went in it for it because I wanted to meet some cool like-minded people to ride with. And so they, um, I stopped by one of their meetings before I actually signed up. And so they do these little monthly meetings at the dealership or a couple other different places throughout where I, the area I live in. And the meeting I went to, they were everybody was super, super cool, right? I mean, it's like they're sitting there just shooting the shit. And then, you know, they've got their, you know, their agenda for the meeting. They're talking about upcoming rides. And the, they do like a little contest at the beginning. They do like those 50-50 raffles. Everyone's just talking. And then they go over the financials. It's just like a normal meeting, right? But just sitting down talking to people, everybody was so friendly. Everybody was so welcoming. You know, I wasn't even a member yet or I wasn't even signed up for the Hawk chapter. Everyone was just very super cool. And, you know, I just start chatting with people and a couple of them said, hey, are you looking to get into this? And, and I honestly said, I was like, yeah, but I, I mean, be straight up with me. I mean, is it worth it? And they're like, yeah. And a couple of them said, this is what I like the most about our chapter that I signed up for. It's drama free. And he's like, I've, I've and a couple of them were honest. They're like, yeah, I've been with some of these that 
everybody, there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Everybody wants to be in charge and then do their own thing. Here, I don't see that as much. I think there's one person, now that I signed up, that's like, um, what's that term they're using now, That uh, the woke term? Karen, right? Uh, the one that uh, has to be involved in everything. There, I think there's one of those, because they have like a, a Facebook page. And then there's this lady that uh, has, let's just put it this way, she likes to hear herself talk, maybe. Um, so that's the only thing that I've noticed so far. But, you know, before I even signed up again, everybody was like super cool. And then I ended up after that, I was like, you know what, I like this. You know, a couple of the riders that I've rode with at uh, All American, the guys that work there are, are members and, and, and they look at it this way. They said, you get as much as you put into it. So if you sign up and you don't do any rides, that's on you. No one's going to force you to do anything. No one's going to make you do anything. All you got to do is like, hey, you want to go on this ride? Then sign up for it. If you want to be a road captain, do it. Come up with a plan, get everybody together and let's just ride. And that is cool. That was the whole reason I wanted to join in the first place was to get out there and just enjoy myself and get out. And I haven't, I've not only been a member now for what, a month and a half. So I haven't actually had a chance to go on any rides with them yet. I'm planning on it. And then I did, I did my first meeting. And uh, so when I went to my first meeting, I think it was like about a week ago or something. And it's not like it's a cult guys. So it's, it's not like I got up and they're like, Hey, this is Colin. I introduced myself. They had a look at it and say, Welcome, Colin. Welcome to the hog chapter. It wasn't anything like that. You know, it was like everyone was just down to earth. I introduced myself, told them about my ride, sat down, and they came over and said, Well, look, you get a complimentary gift. So I got a little bottle opener or anything just for, for being there that day, but just sitting around and uh, talking about future rides. You know, I had talked to a couple people and their passions about riding and why they do the, the, hog chapter and then the ins and outs of it and that's why i'm doing it so i want to get your guys's take like what have you heard like super negative about chapters and what have you heard positive right because the i mean the benefits are cool i mean you get some benefits it's you know it's it's not astronomical benefits but for me again is it worth it is it worth just to go out and meet some like-minded people and you can look at it as like are you paying to ride ah, i guess technically you are but you're not paying for that bond. You're not paying for that friendship. You're not paying for people that are down to earth and that are like-minded people that just want to introduce you to a chapter and introduce you to some of the rides they do. Uh, you don't pay for that, right? That's, that's kind of like priceless in, in, in my take. And that's what's great about riding is everyone has the same attitude. Let's just go out and freaking ride, enjoy ourselves. And that's why I'm doing it. So, so far, um, you know, first impressions of it everyone's super you know great we'll see how the rides come out hopefully we don't have any uh issues that i've heard like in other chapters with uh sometimes those big rides but we'll see you know so give me your take that's all i have today guys now get out there and ride be well and i'll talk to you guys soon